This video is going to show a few examples for uh, the problem set within Delta Math, evaluate piecewise functions graphically. And the, the question is going to be evaluate the function graphically that gives you a graph. And it gives you the input value, f of 6. So remember, input values are the x values. The output value would be your y value. So when we input x is 6, we can look at the graph and see that y is 8. So when x is 6, y is 8. So we're going to type in 8, submit our answer. And then here it shows you a good visual here for the answer. Think of a vertical line at x equals 6, and where does it touch the graph? It touches it when y is 8. All right, let's do another one. All right, so let's evaluate this function for f of negative 2. So when x is negative 2, what's y? Looks like it's 3. So we're going to type in 3, submit the answer. Boom, again, there's a graphical approach to it with the, the vertical green dashed line there showing you where it intersects the graph. When x is negative 2, y is 3. Here's another one. Now, when they have these open, open points, that means that that is not included in the graph, okay? So it says find f of 5. So when x is 5, what's y? You got to be careful here. It's the solid point here. So that solid point y value is 2. Submit the answer. And again, looking at the answer with the green dashed line, it goes through those open points, but again, those are not, um, not included in this graph. If it were, then we know this would not be a function. Right? It would be just a relation because for the same input, you would have multiple outputs. In this case, there is only one output, which is 2, when the input is 5. All right, how about this one? we got a line here. It says find f of 5. All right, when you input 5, the output is at point, which is negative 2. Okay, and we'll do one more. All right, and this one says find f of 2. So again, the input value is 2. Be careful. The open point's not included, so it's going to be that solid point. So the y value is negative 4 for that solid point. So we put negative 4, submit our answer, and that's how we evaluate a function from the graph.